After a full-on December, getting away for a few days off the grid was exactly what we both needed. With the weather forecast looking good, we set off late on the Saturday afternoon for the Nevis Valley. We have just got on to the Nevis Road um, from the Galston side. We have spent um, a couple of days in town now with friends for New Year's and now we are off camping um, and I'm absolutely fizzing for a couple of days of camping. Um, feels like it's been too long since we've got out and had a bit of an adventure. So Matt's just airing down the tyres. We've literally just got on the track um, and we'll be away very soon. dip below the tussock covered hills, we pulled up beside the youthful beginnings of the Nevis River and set up camp for the evening. hot showers using the unlimited water supply from the creek beside us. The Julka hot tap system is something we have come to love as part of our camping kit. There's nothing better than feeling fresh from a steamy hot shower before climbing into bed for the night.
the road the next morning, we continued through the valley, exploring old gold mining sites and settlements along the way. we decided to stay for the rest of the day and just park up under the shade of the awning. The beauty of having everything we need, including our bed, with us provides us so much flexibility for days like this one where we just wanted to pause and enjoy this incredible place a little longer. This is what we love about overlanding. big day of driving ahead of us. We decided to attempt to link the Old Woman Range with the Old Man Range in the Kopawai. We'd previously been to the Old Woman Hut from the Nevis side and as far as Hyde Rock from the other side, but it has been on our list to link it all up via the rabbit warren of four-wheel drive tracks along the top of these ranges. So we continued through the Nevis, past the historic township, turning off just before Duffer Saddle along the Old Woman Track. This track is much more remote, but with dry weather conditions, it was easy going and a lot of fun.
doing some more walking. Well, Matt navigates his way through this. So calm up here. I was expecting it to be a bit windy and cold, but Teddy and I are just stretching our legs. Something that I absolutely love about um, going places like this is just feel like we've got the world to ourselves. Um, yeah, it's just incredible being in a big, big country like this and having the place to yourself. Teddy is caught back up with the truck and I have a wee break and I'm just playing catch up. Some might question taking such remote tracks alone, but we always know if we come across an obstacle we're unsure of, we can just turn back. And with Matt being a mechanic, you can guarantee we have recovery gear and plenty of tools in the truck. We recently also added a PLB to our kit too. down to a boundary hut. A good 500 metres from the track edge. I stood at the top of the steep gully looking down at the hut and I almost didn't bother walking down to check it out, knowing that the hike back up would be a real workout. But I reminded myself in that moment that experiencing these remote locations is always worth it. Everything was aligned to this trip, especially with scoring epic campsites. We have a favourite spot we like to camp above Piano Flat, nestled between a creek and the native trees, and we were lucky enough this time to find the place deserted. After descending down the Old Man Range, we rolled into camp, set up the tent and got tea on the stove before enjoying a campfire well into the evening. morning in camp, just enjoying being in nature, before stretching the legs with a walk up the track. Sadly, all too soon, it was time to pack up camp and head out towards home. Stoked though, on exploring new tracks, recharging the soul with time off the grid, and brainstorming the next adventure already.